Hey, Mark Harbert from markharbert.com here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up your Facebook business page in five easy steps. If you've had some trouble doing it before, after this video, you're gonna know exactly what to do. I'm gonna show you step by step and click by click exactly how to get your page up and running in five simple steps, so stick around. All right, well welcome. If this is the first time that you're here on my channel or if this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos, you wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell because I release videos on a regular basis that show you how to build a business online, how to get more traffic, more leads, and basically build a passive income machine so that you can go out and live life to the fullest. So make sure you get subscribed. All right, we're gonna dive right in. We're not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna go right into showing you how to put together a Facebook business page for your business so you can get rocking. Let's do it. All right, so let's go ahead and let's dig in. Let's build out your Facebook page. So there's a number of ways that you can build a Facebook page. However, there is one thing that you must have first and foremost, and that is you must have a Facebook profile. So if you have not set up a Facebook profile, you must do that. Just go to facebook.com, fill it out, set up your profile, and you are good to go. Once you've done that, there are a couple different ways that you can get to this page that you see here, which is to create your page. So you can go to right up here at this URL, which is facebook.com slash pages slash creation and it will bring you to this page or you can also once you're logged into your profile you can go up to this create button and then click page okay now there used to be an option and it's still here but it is it's right here where it would say create page however facebook is getting rid of that and moving that up here okay so this is what you'll do you'll come to this page and then you'll have to decide on your particular situation what is best. Are you a business or a brand? And this is where you showcase your products and services, spotlight your brand and reach more customers on Facebook. Or are you a community? Are you building a community or are you a public figure? And of course here it says connect and share with people in your community, organization, team, group, or club. So if you are more of a brick and mortar type business, you're probably gonna wanna go with business or brand. If you are more of a public fe feature, uh, figure, excuse me, or if you are building a brand, a personal brand, you're gonna wanna choose public figure. For this uh, um, example, we're gonna go ahead and choose community or public figure for individuals. So you're gonna click get started. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and name our thing. And I'm just gonna name it my name and I'm just gonna call it test page. Mark Harbert test page for now. And then we wanna add a category. So whatever best describes who you are, in this case, I'm just gonna put marketing and we'll see if that pops up. And of course that doesn't pop up. So let's just go ahead and see what it says, business. All right, there we go. We got pulled up entrepreneur. I'll go ahead and put in there entrepreneur. Once we've done that, we're gonna click continue. And you can see that it's go ahead and it's creating our page. And what we can do is it'll walk us through a process. I'm gonna have you just go ahead and skip this. Okay, we're gonna also skip this. We're gonna do that here in just a moment um, because I like to do it from the page and show you exactly how to do it. We're gonna go there. So here we go, we've created the page. It's really that simple to create your business page. Now, what we wanna do is we're gonna move into uh, doing and setting up that page. But before we do that, one of the things you wanna do is that once you create this page, it is published. It is, in other words, people can get out there and they can they can actually see this page. We wanna go right up here to the settings, okay? And then go right here where it says page visibility and then unpublish this page for now. And once we do that, it's gonna ask us a question. We just wanna put this page isn't finished yet. We'll just click next and we'll go ahead and click unpublish, okay? So that unpublishes the page so nobody can see it right now while we're working on it and uh, you wanna do that. So let's go back to the page. And what we wanna do now is we want to do two things. Number one, we wanna add a profile picture here. And then we also want to go ahead and add a header, 
Okay, now a header is uh, obviously very important. Now there's two ways that you can do this. Now, if you're doing like a personal page or a personal branding page um, that is centered around you, your name, your personal brand, I highly recommend that you put a photo here of yourself, have your face here. This is most important because you want people to be able to see who you are. There's nothing worse as far as I'm concerned on Facebook than when you go to a profile or a page that's about somebody and the main picture is not their face. It's called Facebook, <laughs> okay? It's not called kitty book. It's not called puppy book. It's not called bird book. It's Facebook. So you wanna put your face here is my recommendation. So let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload a photo from my uh, photos here. So let's go ahead and we'll go here and let me see if I can pull up a... Um, some photos and let's go ahead and let me see here I'm just gonna choose one all right let's just go ahead and grab this one and we'll see how it comes out all right so then what you can do is you can drag it around and push make sure it's positioned in there good so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we will now the other thing is too is that you can scroll in and out like this so you can adjust your profile picture right in there just the way you want and then we'll go ahead and click save and then obviously what that's going to do is that will populate it right here and it refreshes and boom there we go we've got that now what we need to do is add in a header page and this is something that i recommend that you have that looks just awesome now there's two things that you can do number one you can create this header yourself and I'll show you an option for you to do that, or you can have someone else do it for you, and I'll show you an option for that as well. Now, the other cool thing about your cover photo, so to speak, on your page, is that it can also actually be a video. If you want to put a video on here, that is a great way too to build your brand and also build engagement. So if you wanna put a video in there, you can. Uh, if not, you can certainly do a photo, and uh, we'll do that. So there's two options that you wanna have, you or essentially that you have when you wanna add a, a photo for your header. Um, you can use a free tool called canva.com, and I'm, I'm logged in here to my Canva account. So what you wanna do is um, you essentially go into Canva, and you're going to look here under the create a design. So once you get in here, it'll say create a design. We're gonna go right here to where it says Facebook cover. Okay, and when we click that open, basically um, we have this option, okay? And it gives us a canvas, and then we can go ahead and build out our own header. So we can go in here, there's all these templates that you can choose, okay? And uh, so you can scroll through them and see if you like any of these templates. And if you do, certainly grab one and go for it, all right? So let's go ahead and let's just put in this one. It says hustle, and uh, we'll just go with that for now. But you can certainly change this up any way that you choose. Let's go ahead and let's download that. Um, and uh, we'll use this one. It's very simple. So you, you fix it up, do it any way you wish. And then what we're going to do is we'll go back over to our page and we can add that cover here. We'll upload it. Go to our downloads. We're gonna upload the hustle. And there you go, that adds that header. Now, it's very important to also remember this. The dimensions for the header at this current point is 820 by 312. Okay, that's why this template inside of Canva is really, really good, because it gives you the exact dimensions and the proper size for it. So we'll click save, and then that will add that to our header. Now again, I'm just using this quick template as an example. You're gonna wanna probably fix it up your way and make it look nice as it pertains to you and your business, okay? Now the other way, and this is the way that I personally prefer, if I'm gonna have a, head, uh, a header here and I want it to look, you know, super sleek, super professional. I wanna find somebody that can do it for me rather than me having to do it myself. So I like to use a place called fiverr.com. You can go to Fiverr and this is a place where you can hire somebody to do it for you. So you just come up here like I did and you can go into uh, Fiverr, the search bar, and uh, uh, type in Facebook page header. And when you do that, It'll bring up all these things what are called gigs, and gigs are an opportunity to pay somebody to do it for you. So you can see here, I will design 
a Facebook page header, and we have all these different options. What you wanna look for essentially is, let me just zoom in here, you wanna look for somebody that has feedback, okay? Like for instance, right here, I will design a Facebook page or social media, media design. There's a 4.4, okay? 47 people have used this and commented before. Okay, and you can go down here and you can look at all these different uh, uh, feedback. You wanna make sure you find somebody that has good feedback. And also many times when you click in here, people give you some of their, um, uh, their, their different designs. So you can go in here, you can look and see what they've done, if you like it or not. If not, you can always go back and then search around. Find some of the work. Many graphic design artists on here what they will do is they list a lot of their work, okay? Um, so you can see here, this is some of their work, um, which is pretty sharp depending upon what you're looking for. Um, but the important thing is, is while this might look good, you also are gonna wanna make sure that you look and look at the feedback, okay? So this person has one feedback. So, you know, you can take a risk and have, uh, and, and purchase it from them, uh, but, uh, there, you know, you might you might hit gold, you might not. But the key is typically I will look for somebody that has a lot of feedback. So this one right here is a 4.9 with 59. If we zoom in there, you can see that. Okay, so I think you get the drift. But Fiverr is a really really great place for you to uh, really find some great talent and some great things. So go ahead, get that set up. Go back over to your page, set up your header. And this is the first part to setting up a Facebook business page. Now let's go ahead and let's dive in to our second part of our five part uh, process to setting up a Facebook business page. All right, so part two of our five part process, our next step here is to create our call to action button. So if you look here on our page, you're gonna see right here this button. And this button is very, very important to set up. And I'll tell you why. I have used my page for many, many years, my actual page that I use for my brand, which is my personal brand. I have had, and I've actually tracked this button before um, with link tracking to see what kind of results that I've gotten. And I have gotten a lot of sales that have come from this button alone. So you wanna set this up, and there's two options I'm gonna show you that I think will really benefit you. So first, you're gonna click on that, and it'll bring up mainly this, it'll bring up this screen right here, and you'll have the opportunity to choose. We have uh, make a booking, which allows you to, you know, they can potentially set up an appointment with you, a contact you, so you have contact us, send message, call now, send email, and sign up, or you've got learn more about your business, so watch video and learn more, uh, shop with you, or they can download your app, okay? So basically what we wanna do is we wanna go here to the learn more about your business, and it could be watch video or learn more, and once you click that, we're just gonna put learn more, okay? And we're gonna go here. Now you have this option to add a website link. Click that and it's going to pop up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put in my main website here, markharbert.com. And what this is going to do is this will link this button right here. You can see it's been configured. Once you click finish, it goes it goes ahead and what it does is it clicks here, creates learn more, and then you have the option to test the button. You click it and in this case, we see it goes off to my own personal website, my own personal blog. All right, so that's how you test it. You wanna make sure that you set up this call to action button. Now the other option uh, that you can do, and this is a really, really good option, um, and let's go here to the type of button. You can click uh, you know, uh, contact you and the send message button. This is a really, really good way for people to send messages to your page and uh, connect with you on a personal level. Now. If you're using the amazing technology right now that Facebook has really invested a lot of time, effort, and money into, that is called Facebook Messenger Bots. And Facebook Messenger Bots are very, very powerful in the sense that they can actually do the engagement for you. And if you want, I'm not gonna get deep into that. I'm gonna put a training down below, a link to a training down below if you wanna learn more about Facebook Messenger Bots and uh, you can check that out in the, in the uh, description below, but you'll click send message, click next, 
and then it will go ahead and uh, add it to Messenger. And then what you can do is you click this and that's configured and we just click finish. And now what it does is it, it, it uh, sends a message and you can see it opens up a dialogue where they can start a conversation with your page. So those are the two options that I really recommend. Um, make sure you set that up. Very, very important part to uh, setting up your Facebook page. All right, so step number three, we wanna make sure that we do this. We want to complete our description. So there's a very easy way to do it. When you come here to the page, you'll see this little link right here. It says, add a short description. All you do is you click that, it'll pull it up, and you'll see that it limits you to 155 characters. So you wanna keep this very, very short, but very punchy, right to the point, and you wanna make sure that it uh, that it, it keeps it simple. So. Uh, let's just type in this here. This is where you put your punchy to the point description of your business. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save and continue. And if you want to add your phone number in there, you certainly can. If not, you uncheck it, click save and continue. And then this is where you can put your website. I highly recommend you put that. So let's just put mine in there, markharbert.com, and we'll click save, and there you go. What that does uh, now is now that you, um, you have that, you've now added your description. Let's just do a quick refresh and see if that shows up here. And uh, people will look at your page description. They will certainly click on links. Uh, and it will make a difference, okay? So we don't see that on here uh, that with the look that I'm looking at, but however, it is in there and you wanna make sure that you add that. So go through and you set that up and uh, you certainly make that uh, determination, okay? So that is number three, set up your, your description. Very, very important. You wanna make sure that you do that. Okay, so step number four, actually what you wanna do here now is we wanna do what we call claiming our vanity URL. Now let me give you a little um, uh, idea of what this is. If you look right up here uh, on the URL, you'll notice that it says facebook.com slash Mark Harbert test page dash and it gives you a bunch of numbers. And uh, what we wanna do is make this a little bit easier, okay? Now because this is a new page, you're gonna have to go and get some likes first and get some interaction on your page before you can usually set this up. Facebook doesn't typically give this right away for you to uh, to set up. So do that and there's typically a little bit of a waiting. I've noticed on pages that I've set up, it can take a few days to get this ability to claim a vanity URL. But what you'll notice is when you come right over here to your page, there will be right underneath of this uh, over time, a, a little at symbol where it'll be like at and then you enter in whatever your name is, that little at symbol in your name. So once that pops up, you wanna come in here and claim your vanity URL, which could be facebook.com slash Mark Harbert or Mark Harbert Training or Success with Mark. Success with Mark is my actual page where I have that ability uh, to have a vanity URL, okay? So you wanna keep an eye on that and set that up when that option becomes available to you. Very, very important to claim that and set that up in your page. All right, so our fifth and final step is just to double check. Now we already did this, but very important, go back up here to the settings. And then once you've set that up, you wanna make sure that your page is published. And in this case, it is. If you have not published it, you simply click uh, page publish click save changes and you're good to go. Your page is up and online and ready to rock. Well, there you have it. That's how to set up a Facebook business page. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe. And if you got value, leave me a comment below. I love your feedback and uh, I love the ideas that you throw out when you put comments in there. It helps me create better content for you. So. We'll see you in the next video. Remember, down in the description, I've got some additional trainings for you if you wanna dive deeper into Facebook marketing, all right? Appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.